everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane to install one of the most iconic operating systems of all time, Windows XP. Many of you might need it for legacy software, or maybe you're just feeling nostalgic, whatever the reason. I'll walk you through how to install it safely and securely within VirtualBox on your modern machine. To get started, you'll need three things. First of all, the virtualization software itself. You can download it for free from the official Oracle website. Just select your OS, download, and install. The installation on Windows is straightforward. All right, now you might be wondering, where do I actually get the Windows XP ISO? Since Microsoft no longer hosts it, one of the best places is the Internet Archive. It's a trusted digital library that preserves old software, and you'll find clean Windows XP ISOs there. Just head over to archive.org, search for Windows XP ISO, and you'll see different editions like Home and Professional. Download the one you need, and you're good to go. Remember, though, you might still need your own Windows XP product key to activate it, since it's still Microsoft software. All right, let's set up the virtual machine. Open VirtualBox and click on New. We'll now give our virtual machine a name. You can call it Windows XP. Uh, VirtualBox is smart. It will automatically change the, the type to Microsoft Windows and the version to Windows XP 32-bit version if you downloaded the earliest version. Make sure to skip the unattended installation. Just untick the box. Mine is already unticked. For memory, I recommend setting at least 512 megabytes. If your PC can handle more, you can go up to one gigabyte for better performance. Next, create a virtual hard disk and give it around 10 to 20 gigabytes of space. Quick heads up, if you're running Windows 10 or Windows 11, make sure Hyper-V is turned off before you try installing Windows XP in VirtualBox. That's because Hyper-V is Microsoft's own virtualization platform, and when it's enabled, it takes over your system's virtualization features. This can cause problems in VirtualBox, like the XPVM not booting, running super slow, or even crashing. To fix it, just go to Windows Features and uncheck Hyper-V, restart your computer, and then VirtualBox will have full access to your hardware so Windows XP installs smoothly. Mine is already unchecked. It is the fifth from the top. Also, before you install, make sure that virtualization is enabled in your BIOS. Without it, VirtualBox won't run Windows XP properly. The easiest way to check is right from Windows using Task Manager. At the bottom right, you'll see virtualization enabled or disabled. If it says disabled, you'll need to reboot your PC, go into the BIOS or UEFI setup, and turn on Intel VTX or AMDV, depending on your processor. Just press Enter to set up Windows XP. Before you proceed, create a partition by pressing C. Just press Enter again and the partition will be created. Do a quick format here, so you do not waste a lot of time.
Windows XP will now copy files. This will take a few minutes, and afterwards the VM will reboot. Enter your product key when prompted. To make XP run smoother, you can install VirtualBox Guest Editions. Before we do that, let us switch off the VM and remove the ISO. If we do not do that, every time the VM boots, it will try to boot from the ISO. And there you have it, Windows XP running smoothly inside VirtualBox. Remember to use it with caution due to the security risks. Windows XP is no longer supported by Microsoft, which means it doesn't receive security updates. Because of this, it is vulnerable to all kinds of security risks. You should not use it for everyday browsing or access important accounts like email. We're doing this for educational or testing purposes only. One more quick tip. After you install Windows XP, you'll notice that Internet Explorer doesn't really work anymore. Most modern websites won't load since XP is so old. To actually browse the web, I recommend installing Supermium. It's a modern Chromium-based browser that still runs on Windows XP, and this way you can open modern websites, download files, and even watch YouTube without issues. And that's it. You now have a fully working copy of Windows XP in VirtualBox. You can use it to run old programs, play classic games, or just enjoy the nostalgia of one of Microsoft's most iconic operating systems. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to 
like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.